G'day guys, Chaos Chronicles. All right, so lately I've had a few people ask me to uh, do a video on Chopper Reed. So if you guys don't know who Chopper Reed is, um, I don't know where you've been living lately, but like he's a very well-known Australian criminal. They made a movie about him. The movie's called Chopper, evidently. And um, yeah, so um, yeah, a few people have asked me to do a video on the old Chopper Reed. So let's let, let, let's get into it so um i actually had the pleasure of meeting chopper reed um i spoke about this um the other night when i've done my live but um yeah i had a I, I had the chance to meet him a few times actually um at one of our mutual friends joint in collingwood um so he was actually like very best friends with one of my good friends before he passed away frank waghorn rest in peace um you know i don't want to say anything you know too bad about the dead or anything like that but i'm sure frank wouldn't mind me saying that we were mates as we were you know um but anyway him and chopper were very good mates he's in a lot of choppers books and this and that and um yeah i actually had 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 the chance to meet him about three times i think and um yeah, so um, I met him at another mutual friend's place in, in Collingwood. It was actually right around the corner from his his um, his merchandise store. And so the first time I met him, or the second time I think it was, he said, I'll oh, come around here to the merchandise store. And um, yeah, he took me around to the merchandise store and gave me a signed um, picture um, of him licking a um, meat cleaver and um yeah it said stick staunch uncle chop chop you know stick staunch beef from uncle chop chop and yeah so i actually left that picture at one of my mates joints before i got locked up on my big one and i haven't seen it since so i'd like to get that back grant if you're watching um but yeah um you know what i i guess i can say that um you know a lot of um, the things that Chopper said in his books and whatnot, you know, it's well known that, that it's just fabricated and, and he made a lot of it up. Um, but in saying that, like, there's no denying that that he was an absolute force to be reckoned with in prison. Like, you know, that anyone that had done prison with Chopper, now I never done pri any prison jail with um chopper at all but I, I know people that done plenty of time with chopper and they will all say the same thing like no one they can all say he's a rat he's a dog he was working with the cops he was working with the screws this and that but there's no two ways about it that that dude was an absolute force to be reckoned with in prison and um you know um, you know, he started the overcoat wars in Pentridge and, you know, it's a well-known fact that him and his, um, him and his gang used to walk around with hatchets and, you know, big bone crushing shanks and, you know, took, took a few people out too, a, well, a, a few well-known people. And, um, so, you know, although a lot of his stories and that are fabricated, um, you know, um there's there's no two ways about it that that uncle chop chop was was a force to be reckoned with when he was in prison now people say he worked with the screws this and that now i can't say whether that's here nor there because i wasn't there but um you know it, it, i i know for a fact through people that i've done prison with a lot of old school crooks will, will tell you you know that um there's no two ways about it that he was an absolute psychopath in jail and um yeah i'll tell you right now there is nothing worse than a psychopath in jail do you know what i mean because you know and they are they're there are more psychopaths than you would ever believe in prison, you know. Um, but um, yeah, un Uncle Chop Chop um, was was definitely a force to be reckoned with. But um, yeah, he definitely um, um, talked a, a little bit of turkey, I think. And um, but you know, in saying that, um, yeah, he was definitely a force to be reckoned with you know, um, started riots um, in Pentridge, started fires in Pentridge, um, you know, people died in certain fires in Pentridge. But, yeah, you know, Uncle Chop Chop, the, the movie is an absolute – Eric Banner done the best, the best job. So if you haven't seen Chopper, I suggest you – 
for all my American subscribers, I really suggest that you, you go and check out Chopper. It's it's an absolute you will it's like it's serious, but it's funny, you know. And I think that Eric Banner, which is the guy that plays Chopper Reed, done such a good job of Chopper Reed. And when you actually meet Chopper Reed, you really know how well that guy played that character you know what i mean and he played it to a t and um you know it's well known fact that you know chopper would turn it on for the cameras and and so um yeah he was you know i i don't want to i don't want to speak ill of the dead but it's a well-known fact that chopper reed you know talked a lot of turkey in his books and and a lot of his stories and that were um if not other people's stories just 100 percent fabricated stories you know like the 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 interviews that that he did um before he died you know like there was no need for that you know i'm not not speaking ill of the dead but yeah once again it's a well-known fact if you know the know that some of those things that he said were not true and um yeah, but yeah, you know, may he rest in peace, Uncle Chop Chop. He definitely left a mark on this country, that's for sure. Um, you know, he was touring around doing his thing, so good on him. He got out there, he ended up becoming an artist, and um, so so good on him, you know. He, he actually made a, a rap album and everything, which I suggest that if you guys haven't seen that either, like see if you can find somewhere on YouTube, um, Chopper Reads Raps, um, I think you'll... you'll will laugh you know but um yeah all right guys if you guys haven't subscribed jump up there and shoot me a subscription that would be absolutely fantabulistic and if you also jump up there and hit that little bell sign you will never miss any of my clips when i drop vids or anything ever again and um oh, i should have moved over here like this shouldn't i um and also, I have memberships available, guys. And um, so, um, yeah, we do members-only videos as well. Um, I will be doing uh, a members-only chat sometime this week. And also, you know, that's why you need to hit that bell. That way you won't miss my lives because I'll be doing a few lives this week. And, um, yeah, I'd love if I could see all you guys there. All right, guys, I've been the Chaos Chronicles. This has been me talking about Chopper Reed. If you'd like to hear me talk about, you know, anyone else that's like, I don't, I'm not going to talk about anyone else that's still alive if, if they're dead and, and you know, I don't mind talking about stuff that's, you know, public knowledge anyway. But, yeah, if you'd like me to have a, you know, chat about anyone else, um, chuck it in the comment section. And as you guys know, if you've got any questions, I'll try and answer it with a video. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next clip. I am yeah. also the guy who decides if you and your friends walk out of here or not.